Okay, so in this particular chapter, we'll talk about VM Manager. So VM Manager is basically a suite of tools that provides three distinct functionalities. The first one is patch management, the second is inventory management, and the third is the configuration management. So in this particular chapter, we'll talk about the inventory management. So we'll learn on how you can install your VM Manager, as well as how you can use your inventory manager to get information about the operating system which is running on your machine. So you can get information about all the tools that are installed and also about all the vulnerabilities that are present in your operating system, if there is any present. Okay, so before we proceed, let's look at the pricing. So the pricing is based on a per VM basis. So as long as your virtual machine has an active OS config agent installed within it, then as long as it's less than 100, then you don't need to pay for it. However, if it's more than 100, then you'll have to pay $0.003 per virtual machine instance. So this is something that you need to take care of. So let's set up our virtual manager. So you can just click on this particular page. And here there are two ways you can install it. One is using your automated, one is using your manual and the other is using automatic. So manual is actually quite tiresome. So I wouldn't recommend you to do this as there are quite a few number of steps that you need to take care of. So let's proceed with the automatic. So let's click on automatic. So the only thing you need to care, take care of is you need to go to this particular OS path, patch management page and just enable this virtual manager. So let's do that. So let's go to our project. So here I'm in my computer instance. So what I need to do is I need to go to my VM manager here and I'll just open this particular page. And here you can just click on a particular button here and enable your virtual machine manager. So let's click on this and your virtual machine manager is installed. So the next thing you need to do is let's go back to our setting up page again. So you also need to make sure that you have these two APIs installed. So you need to make sure that your OS config service API and your container analysis API, they're both installed in your project. So let's do that. So let's copy this and let's go to our services and API, APIs and services. Let's paste this. So if you type OS config service, you'll not find anything. So what you need to search for is VM manager. So just open this and you'll see that it's enabled. And similarly, you can also check for the other one. Just copy the container analysis API. Let's go back. And search for this. And let's open this and let's see whether it's enabled. And you can see that this is enabled as well. Okay, so you've enabled everything. So let's go back to our page here. And the third and the last thing you need to note is that you need to make sure that your OS configuration is installed in your virtual machine. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to run this particular command. So this particular command I will send in the description below. And if it returns a proper value, that means your OS config is installed. Now, by default, your OS config agent is present for your Red Hat, Debian, CentOS, and for your Windows images that have a build date of 2020-01-14 or later. Now, if it's a operating system that is that is a, that has a build date before this, then you'll have to manually install your OS config agent. Now, this is very important to remember. So without this OS config agent, your application will not work. So make sure that this particular OS config agent is installed. So let me copy this and let's open the VM instance that we've already created and let's see whether it is present. So let's go back to our compute and let's SSH, SSH into our machine. So now this is our latest Debian virtual machine. So this would have our um, a config OS agent installed in it. So let's just check just to verify whether it's present or not. So let's run this command. And you can see that it's active and it's running. Now, if you're using any operating system that does not have your agent, then you need to install this manually. So these are the steps that you need to take care of to install it manually. So this particular page I will give in the description below. Now, if you're facing any issues, trying to install this, please get in touch with me. I'll gladly help you out. Okay, so once you've installed your manager and once you've installed the agent in your machine, so let's look at all the information that you can get from this particular VM manager. So the first information that you can get is basically you can get a list of all the inventory. So let's copy this command and let's run these commands one by one. So the first command that I'll run is, so here you need, you'll get the list of inventory for your. So here you can mention the zone and the zone is 
us central one a and the view is not a mandatory field so let's just leave it as it is so with view you can get a more detail or just a basic information so let's copy this so let's copy this and let's run this in our cloud shell so i'll open my cloud shell my particular instance that I have created that is also in US Central One. So that's the reason why I gave that particular zone. So let's run this particular command. And this is the information that I get, get from that particular command. So I can get the instance. I can get which particular operating system is being run, the version of the US agent that is being run, and I can get the update time. So let's get a more detailed information about this particular instance. Now to do that again, let's go. So what you need to, let's go and check the command. So what you need to do is you need to run this particular describe command. So the earlier one was a list and this is describe for a particular instance. So let's run this particular command. So again, let me just copy this. And let's paste it here. So again, the location would be US central one. And I need to also mention my instance name. So my instance name is again, just instance one. So let me just verify that once. So you can see that the name is instance one. So the view is again, just a, uh, it's not a mandatory field, but this time let's get a detailed view as well. So the view can have both basic as well as full. So let's get the full view, the full details of our operating system. Let's paste this as full and let's run this particular command. And here I get a lot of information. So I can get information about the package that is in my particular virtual machine. I can get information about the architecture. Now let's, so an important feature of this particular command is you can actually use grep to get information about, let's say a package that is currently there. So let's do a grep for Python and let's see whether Python is installed in our VM. And you can see that these are all the Python libraries or packages that are installed in my particular virtual machine. So this is a very good tool to figure out or get information about all the packages that are currently installed in my virtual machine. So now this is one aspect of your inventory. Now, apart from inventory, you can also get a vulnerability list of all your virtual machines. So let's do that as well. So this is just to get an inventory. And now let's check how we can get a vulnerability report for your virtual machine. Now, again, it's the same command. So here again, let's do a listing. And once we've done the listing, we'll get description about one particular instance. So let's copy this. Again, let me paste this. So again, the zone here would be US central one here. Paste it. And let's run this command. Okay, let me clear the screen. paste it and you can see for our instance id this that is our instance one the vulnerability count is 57 so there are 57 vulnerabilities for a particular instance and let's get a detail of all the vulnerabilities so let's again go back to our and here what we'll do is we'll do a describe so i'll copy this and let's paste this again. I just need to mention the instance name. So this is the instance name as well as the location. So let's copy this and let's paste this. And you can see all the 57 vulnerabilities. So let's try to grab for all the ones that are medium. So these are all the ones that have mediums. So that's it for this particular chapter. So in this chapter, you've learned how, how you can install your VM manager and get information about your inventory as well as get information about the vulnerability report of your particular instance. So I hope this was a useful lecture. Now, if you have any issues with this particular lecture, please get in touch with me and I'll help you out. So I'll see you in the next chapter. And these uh, commands, I will also 
paste in the description below so you can just check it out and just run it based on your instance name and your location so i'll see you in the next chapter